Yo, what's up there guys? This is Mercy Gamer 83 and thank you very much for stopping by. Today is a really, really good day, a very exciting day. The sun's out and everything's beautiful, but there's another mod that's been announced. It's come out, I've seen a few people playing this mod. It's for GTA 5. It's called Los Santos Police Department First Response. And it basically, it's like living the life as a police officer. You can do all kinds of cool shit, you know, like pull people over, all kinds of cool stuff. And if you ever played the Liberty City one, you'll know a little bit about what it is. Basically, this is like the first release, and it says on here that the uh, it's zero one beta, but where it says latest files, it's uh, zero point one e. So you, it, if you go to uh, www.lc pdfr.com and then it's got like a little thing where it says uh, slash lspdfr but you can get there basically by going to this this website so if you go if you just search on it like gta 5 lspdfr it takes you straight there so uh, you'll get to this this page and then you click on this bit los santos police department first response and it's the 0.1 e beta which is the newest version if you click on that it will take you to like a download link and you click on this one here there's a few dodgy icons that you know that you could potentially click click the wrong one i mean on on the previous page if you scroll down to the bottom you think you know like there was a bit down here that said download now and like you don't want to be touching it because it's dodgy advertising and i don't know why they do that sort of shit it's annoying um so be careful to not click the wrong icon so it's this one here where it says latest files that's what you want um i've not actually installed this yet so hopefully this is going to serve as some sort of tutorial to you guys so it's not going to be the quickest but i'm hoping we'll get there in the end so if you click on this one it will take you to the download page and you can literally just download this file click on that and then you get to choose which ones you want for some reason there's two files you've got the uh, lspdfr01d and then uh, the same one but e and it's got the documentation so i've downloaded all three just to see what the crack was i've not done anything else other than that at the moment so they're sitting in my downloads now um so there they are and if you if, if you open up well i open up this one and uh, basically it looked exactly the same as the other one but then I'm going I'm to install the newest version um, the newest version looked exactly the same nothing different about it but I'm sure it's just like a few updates so the first thing you want to do with every kind of mod check the readme and it will tell you everything about it so it says installation put everything in the game folder except the SDK and licenses folders and then run the rage uh, pl plugin hook.exe so that sounds simple enough okay but before I do that um, I'm sure I'll clock something else there's some other um, some el some of the notification or so some sort of other thing to read oh uh, yeah it's the uh, install text so if you click on the install text it says just simply copy the contents of this folder including all the subfolders directly into your GTA directory <laughs> Be sure to right click properties and unblock any DLLs which may be blocked. That sounds complicated, but it's not actually that bad. Um, so to do this first bit, I'm actually going to do something slightly different. Um, I'm not deviating much, but I'm going to create a new folder just because it's going to be easier this way. And you'll know because you've got to unblock some of the DLL files. So I'm going to put um, LSPDFR. So there's my new folder there. Basically, I'm going to drag all of this stuff from the the one that ends in E, 01E. I'm going to drag all of that stuff into my new temporary folder. So there we go. And now I can close that. Because if you start editing stuff in, in the RAR file, it won't save properly. And, uh, well, I've had that experience before where it didn't save and it was a bit of a ball lake. So just I put it in a new folder. And there you go. So now we should be able to get rid of that. There is a documentation piece as well, which doesn't say a lot to be honest it's just got tells you about the features along you know so it is worth having a look at all of that i wouldn't read it in proper depth but it basically says that if anything happens and goes wrong it's your own fault so you know that disclaimer basically says that if you want to mod the game if you break the game is your fault which is fair enough to be honest so uh, there we go we've got all of these bits and what you need to look for now it says file type so all of these ones that say DLL, it will tell you which down there. If you click on it, right click, go to properties. Because it's a, a new file, basically, your, your computer probably 
doesn't trust it so all the new ones will say unblock so click on unblock apply ok and then if you click on it again properties you'll see that the option for that has gone because you, you've said that you trust that file so you just need to do that for all of the DLL files it's going to take a little bit of time to do that so I'm going to do the whole process to be honest because this is the first time I'm installing it and I'm hopefully everything's going to go okay with it um, we'll just have to see how it goes so unblock apply okay so literally anything that says DLL you want to be doing this with so properties unblock apply okay click on it right click properties unblock apply okay DLL so it's a bit long it's a bit long but you know um, I, I'm sure there's a that it's probably the only way it could be done at the moment and it's not too much of a ball like just it's always worth reading the instructions because normally if anything if anything goes wrong and you've not read the instructions you don't know what you've done wrong whereas if you follow the instructions to the to the letter then more than likely it's going to work you know right so it's just that last one properties unblock apply okay so if I just click on any of these random ones I'm going to check it just to see to make sure yep it's all disappeared so now that should all be fine so uh, it says we want we don't want to copy over the licenses one so it has got a readme text as well so double check your readme again so installation put everything in the folder except the SDK and licenses uh, I can't really see the SDK folder anywhere um, maybe they removed that for now so I'm going to take everything apart from licenses because I can't see the SDK folder. Maybe I'm being blind. So hopefully it's going to work and I've not fucked this up. So you can highlight them and uh, you just need to put them in your, in your GTA directory. For those of you that are not too sure where it is, you need to find your Steam. This could be different for you. I've got mine not in the default location. So mine's on my E drive. I've got two drives. So go to my E drive, scroll down and I've got Steam. Right, so once you found this bit, it's going to be exactly the same. So yours might be on your C drive, it might be on your, whatever drive you've got your Steam on. So once you've gone to your Steam, click on that. And then you want to go Steam Apps, Common, and that brings up your games. So have a look at your GTA 5 folder just there. Just click in it. It's the one that's got your, your application launchers, EXE files. So you know when you've got the right one. If you could just scroll down. So that's definitely the right one because it's got your, your game exe in there so we'll copy all of this apart from licenses because I can't see the SDK in there and just literally drag it over very carefully holding the left click in making sure you let go copy to Grand Theft Auto 5 okay so all of those the DLL thing has now been checked so there we go so we'll go back to the readme again and it just says okay so I put everything in, in there except the SDK licenses and then run the Rage plugin. So in here, which where we just dragged it to, there'll be the Rage plugin. So let's have a quick look. Rage plugin, there we go. So we just double click it and run. And allow. Right, it's detected the following file might be blocked in Windows, blocking this okay that's fine maybe we need to unblock that as well so. okay blocked files may cause crashing do you want yes let's unblock it okay so this program was made in the hope that it would be useful there we go so maybe it's already done that stuff that we did a minute ago I don't know but it looks like it's doing some anyway so that's a good thing okay so that's running, it's loading. That's a good thing. Just gonna quickly make sure I'm recording. Yes. Okay, so the game is now loading. Alright, okay, so the rage plug-in hook. So this is all very good, but it's a little bit of a concern my concern with this is that this game now has got a different exe name so vorpex might not detect it 
So we can see that it's worked and it popped up with enjoy. That was part of the mod letting you know that the mods worked. So this game has now worked. I'm not I've not got my uh, my pad installed. So don't go online just uh, for now because you'll probably get fucking banned. So don't bother doing that. So when this loads up, there'll be something letting you know that you can be a police officer and you can go straight in there and then start the role in the day in the day of the life of uh, Los Santos Police Department, which is great. But I'm hoping I can rename that EXE. I should be able to if I, if I can rename the EXE, then I should be able to get Vorpex working with it. So it's a bit of a coin flip at the moment as to whether we can get this working in virtual reality. So verified plugin loading. This is a little bit worrying. The fact that yeah, I'm a little bit worried that the fact that it's asking to verify like the you know the, what things are called. So this might not work in VR, which could be a fucking problem. Right. Okay. So welcome to the Rage plugin hook alpha. Please report any bugs you encounter. Thanks. So we can see that it's working. So on the map. If you can see down in the bottom left corner, you can see that there's like the police stations and that. So I, wish I should have plugged in my pad. I'm sorry about this. Um, I'm just going to get in a car for now. And please excuse my driving. I am not using my normal 360 pad, which is a pain in the ass. I think it's E to get in, maybe, or F. F. Okay, so I'm WASD in. Right, so I'm just going to go down and uh, go to a police department just to make sure that everything's working with it. Yeah, this is fucking annoying. Sorry, I should have plugged in my pad. So there's a police station down the road. So there's the police department. Hopefully we can go inside the police department. Don't ask, don't tell. They found a way into my possession. So oh, could we go in here? Press E. Okay. What the fuck is the E key? Hey do Yo! Right, okay, so it looks like it's working. Right. Hopefully, this works. So, I mean, you can see this is actually working now, so you get to choose all your other stuff. This is very cool, actually. So, you can choose to be like a female. Oh, you're ugly as fuck. Ooh. Well, we'll stick with the male for now. There's loads of different heads, like ethnicities, and all sorts of stuff. I'm not really going to bother too much, you know, choosing, spending time over the geezer that I want. Um, pff, head. I don't know, man. Top. Oh, yes, there's a few different variants of all kind of stuff. Accessories. Very cool. Oh, yes. Bad motherfucker. Insignia. Yes. He's got some uh, decorative badges there. Looks like he's done some service. Select and continue. So now we're an officer on the beat. Uh, I'm sure that there was a, a Zin put in the folder as well. Oh, we get to choose a car. Nice. So, Buffalo Interceptors, man. Oh, yes. Oh, look at all this stuff. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. Sport for choice. Oh, yeah, look. Albany Road Cruiser. Awesome. Local and federal agents. Oh yeah, it's got to be that one. It's got to be that one. Siren off. And we'll continue. We'll go stealth mode. Okay, so... We're on the beat. This is it. You're now on duty as a police officer. So, I don't really know the ins and outs of it. But basically, anything dodgy, we pull people over. Right, so there we go. I'm not going to go too much into it, but that's how you install it. Piece, piece of piss. I could maybe arrest that fool. I don't know how to do it. I'm going to work out the buttons and come back to it, to be honest. 
So anyway, that's how you install it. And hopefully I can rename that exe. And if I rename the exe, I don't even know if you've even seen this man lot to be honest. Um, let's have a look. I'll flip over. You might not have even seen it. Hopefully you have. But yeah, uh, it's working. Everything's all good. So if I can rename the exe, we can get it working with Vorpex. I'm going to call it a day on this one, guys. That's Immersive Game Rate 3. Hope to catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.